As March Hoops play rolls on now, Florida State is set to take on Michigan at 9 tonight for a spot in the Final Four. But now we're learning one of the underdog FSU players has a local connection. Eyewitness News reporter Julian Lima has the story new at 6. Seminoles forward Terrence Mann has basketball in his blood. After all, his mother isn't just a former hoop star herself. She's also head coach of the women's team at URI. On the court, Terrence Mann is a force to be reckoned with. It's just great to see how much he's embraced it and, and has excelled at it. The 21-year-old junior is FSU's leading returning scorer and rebounder this season. His skills are less surprising when you take a look at his family tree. Always loved basketball. The kid was pretty much born in the gym. Dania LaForce is his mother. She's the first ever minority woman to be head coach of any sport at the University of Rhode Island. But to her son Terrence, she's always been both mom and coach. I knew from a young age that basketball was going to be something that he was going to really embrace. I never had to force it on him. LaForce was a four-year ladder winner for the Georgetown women's basketball team. She's pictured here on the left. On the right, Terrence, who now wears her number. Obviously, basketball is, is very big in our family. It's in our DNA. LaForce says while her son's skills are impressive, to say the least, she's even prouder of the type of player he is, hardworking and humble. That, to me, warms my heart more so than his ability. And while both mother and son agree winning is important, LaForce says at this point, it isn't everything. He's gone so far, farther than I've ever gone. I mean, I made it to the Sweet 16 when I played at Georgetown, so just being an underdog and, and taking his team this far and them really just going above and beyond what people have expected for them. I think that alone will be a success story. And LaForce tells me Terrence has dreams of being drafted in the NBA. She says he also hopes to one day continue following in her footsteps by becoming a coach himself. I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News.